Hello Divine Feminine, welcome to your power message for Tuesday. I'm so excited today because our soul sister Sandra Cole from World Illuminator 11 has gifted me a gorgeous new Divine Feminine deck and this is the first time I'm using this deck today. Divine Feminine, truth's power and undying love, isn't this gorgeous? And I love how, you know, she's kind of resting her feet in the water there because that's about cleansing energy and purification to move things ahead. You know, the feet are connected with movement and change. And, you know, if you actually look at it from a distance, it looks like you're looking down at your own feet, you know, ready to move forward. So I feel this is a depth that's going to bring in a lot of power about how to keep your mind strong and move forward. So let's see what we need to know. And then I'm going to bring in the book. So thank you, angels. And thank you, Sandra. What do we need to know today? What do we need to know today, please, as a divine family? What do we need to know today? I'm going to keep shuffling till I feel the ready. I feel a few of these are going to come out. What do we need to know today? What do we need to know today? Thank you, thank you. That's it, the ready. So, oh, the splitting there. The splitting. The deck's just split there. So I'm just going to split the deck and see if anything comes out and it does. Wow. Okay. So the messages today are then, I have made so many positive changes in my life. I am proud of myself. You would be proud of me too. So I feel that you're having a conversation here either with your twin flame or maybe with a member of your family that's passed, maybe your mum or your dad, or maybe communicating with your higher self or a friend. And you're saying, I've made so many positive changes in my life. I'm so proud of myself. You would be proud of me too. So for example, I'd say to my mum, you would be proud of me, mum, because I've made so many positive changes in my life and I'm so proud of myself. And that's a beautiful thing. So I feel this is recognition, recognition to you today for how far you've come, you know, and to be proud of yourself. And I know you are, you know, so it's okay to be proud of yourself. It doesn't mean you're being vain or... You're not grateful for other people's help or any of those things. It means you know that you're the one that's done the work. And the angels are recognising that in you today. You've made so many positive changes in your life. Be proud of yourself because the angels are proud of you. And so is God and your family up there and your family here. You know, even your twin is proud of you because you're, you seem to have everything together in your life, even if there's still things you need to change. So you've made many positive changes in your life. Be proud of that. Be proud of everything you've done and everything you've become and everything that you are because that's power. That's raw, unlimited, divine feminine power. And I love myself now like I have never loved myself before and I have you to thank for helping me to learn true self-love. So again, this is gratitude. And I feel this is really the divine feminine talking to the divine masculine, but also talking to other people. Because I feel this is also talking to the angels. Thank you, angels, for helping me to learn true self-love. Thank you to your twin for doing that too, because without the lessons and the pain, you wouldn't have learned the lessons. But you're acknowledging this. Maybe you're acknowledging this to a friend or a teacher in some way who's helped you to learn true self-love. So I'm really feeling with these cards today, this is about gratitude, being grateful for how far you've come, the work you've done on you, being grateful to yourself, being grateful to your twin, but being grateful to everything around you, the people who've helped you, the situations that have helped you, the experiences you've had, the way you've been guided from above, the way you've received information when you've needed it. So you're saying, I love myself now. And that's a beautiful thing. That doesn't mean you're being vain. It means you are being powerful because you're looking in the mirror and you're proud of who you are, proud of what you've been through and you're still standing. They give me that song, I'm Still Standing by Elton John. I love myself now like I have never loved myself before. And that's true, we learn there as a twin flame, but not just as a twin flame, as a light worker. Because we learn to give back to ourselves, to love ourselves and appreciate ourselves in every way. And you're saying, I have you to thank for that God. I have you to thank for that twin. I have you to thank for that angels. Thank you for helping me to learn true self-love. 
And the angel's saying, love yourself now like you've never loved yourself before. And thank yourself because you're the one who's helped yourself to learn true love, true self-love, but also true love, which means responding to all things in love. And my love for you grows deeper and stronger and purer every day. So you're saying to your masculine, the love I have for you, it's undying. You know, it's undying love. It gets deeper every day, stronger every day and purer every day. And purity is also about forgiveness and healing, understanding the journey, understanding why things happen the way they do. And that brings a purity and it brings in a cleansing. So even, you know, those of you, and I've been there, who've had the darkest hearts, you know, we've had the most pain in there. You know, we've been through the struggle. This love purifies all the darkness and brings in the light. It kind of cleanses away all the toxins and the poison of the connection and it helps you to cleanse it again and see it in a new way. They're showing me like really dark, stagnant water changing into crystal clear water because that's what we do on the journey and that's nothing that the masculines say or do differently than what they've already been doing. It's your perception of it. It's you that makes the changes. And you're saying, I miss the way you used to look at me, kiss me and touch me. So you miss the way things used to be, but they're going to be so much better than they used to be. And this is sometimes the way as well the ego keeps us stuck in a cycle or stuck in the past because we go over the way it was and we think if only, if only it could be that way again, if only I'd said this or done that or if only they'd done this or that, things may be different. But everything had to happen this way for soul growth and learning. So you may miss the way they used to look at you and kiss you and touch you. But you're going to have something much better with them. And some of you haven't been kissed by them in the physical or touched by them in the physical. Or even looked at them in the physical. But you've had all of this in the 5D realm. So the angels are saying to you, you may miss them in that way, but something much better is coming. And let's have a life together when we are both ready. And that's such a powerful statement because you're saying when we are both ready. Because a lot of the time as a feminine, we feel ready. We think we're ready, but it still isn't manifesting. And things still aren't happening. We're like, why? And it's because you still have things to do or you still have things to learn or you still have places to go or experiences to have before union. So you have to trust in divine timing. And that's why you're saying we're going to have a life together and it will be at the right time when we are both ready. So it's about believing and feeling that with mutual power. Isn't that beautiful? So let's bring in the boot then. So gorgeous deck, another gorgeous deck there by Sandra. So wow, look at this. Again, you're on the same page today, which is really powerful. Let's make sure I get on the right page here. So the message today is connect with the nature angels. Now, the nature angels, sometimes we call them the fairies or the elementals because it's about going outdoors and feeling the magic. You know, feeling the magic of nature, feeling the power of it, trusting in the divine, trusting in divine timing in the process of your life. So when you connect with the outside world in nature, you go in the street, you breathe in the air, you go in the garden, you go by the ocean, you go to a park, you go in the woods, you feel the power of heaven around you. You know, it's all above you, above and below you. And the nature angels are the fairies. You know, so I feel, you know, the nature, whether you believe in fairies or you don't is irrelevant. It's about magic, connecting with your inner child, the magic. You know, it's like this wand, you know, I've had a new wand for Pixie Power Tarot and it's magical. You know, it connects me with my inner child and brings that light out of me. And that's what happens when we connect with the nature angels. You know, a nature angel is also Archangel Ariel because Ariel connects with the physical world but also connects with animals and nature. You know, if you're going through anything connected with environment or environmentalism or anything that seems to be affecting where you live, call on Ariel to sort it out. So we're going to start with a thought for today. So the thought is I connect with the nature angels. I enjoy spending time with plants and animals and I mentally speak to the elementals. So this is also about bringing plants into the home or flowers or 
things that bring a bit of nature and maybe it's sorting out your garden and you connect with the elementals the power the magic and i allow them to get to know me at their own pace bring fairies into your life if that's what you want to do connect with the elementals the fae and you know you may think of fairies as being little kind of flying beans but the fae you know they're, they're very powerful you know they're in um mystical law mythic mythical law you know one of my good friends gaj you know he's a a fairy i wouldn't say fairyologist because that's what doreen virtue used to promote he's like he's into the fey you know he really understands that like if he got my deck of tarot of the celtic fairies and he started doing a reading for you he would just blow your mind you know and unfortunately you know, i've lost touch with him because of the pandemic and everything but guys if you're watching this hit me up and come over and do a reading on my channel because you're amazing but you know he really connects and he kind of goes outdoors and he's he's gone into um you know kind of i say far off lands but he's kind of gone to far off places where nobody goes in the uk and bathed naked in fountains and all kinds of waterfalls and all kinds of things gone in caves and you know he's just he really does connect with fey energy it's very powerful so it's the power of the earth and i know there's so many of you out there that get that and you know you may really connect with the earth energy as you know from a pagan perspective where you know you're connecting with the elements the the corners you know calling the corners or you're connecting with the moon you're connecting with the soil you're connecting with the th things that you know we've been given by god in the natural world to bring in natural remedies things like natural healing abilities you know like um like people did in like before you know technology and you know like shamans and you know like witch doctors and that's the kind of energy i'm bringing up here you know people who use herb spices the natural world to create healing remedies so you don't have to take prescription drugs or you do things naturally things like turmeric and you know all these things reiki all these natural things crystals i notice the feelings in my heart and my body that confirm that i truly am connecting with these magical and loving beings i give thanks for their presence in my life and on this planet so elementals you know you could also be connecting with unicorns you could be connecting with dragons you know you could be connecting with people on the other side there's many ways you can connect with the elemental realm so you know this is about protection divinely being protected you know they're giving me creatures such as the dodo you know creatures that may be extinct now that you may connect with some people can even connect with dinosaur energy it's whatever you believe and what you feel but i do collect connect very heavily with dragons you know because dragons they blast everything out of the way they create power you know unicorns are very healing animals you know so remember you may not believe in these things but these things were once on the earth you know dolphins are going to be extinct soon so one day people look back and they will talk about dolphins the way that we talk about dragons or unicorns like they myth or legends so remember that isn't that powerful something to think about something to ponder on so the beans overseen the plant the mineral and the animal kingdom are known as fairies elementals and nature angels and they are as solid and real as you are and like you these creatures have important roles chiefly they ensure harmony and sustenance within what you call nature and they can help you grow and thrive as well so you know the elementals help you to grow and thrive they bring a spirit of adventure and playfulness to the planet which you can tap into simply by spending time outdoors among plants or with animals domestic or wild and if you think about that doesn't that sound like dolphin energy they bring adventure and playfulness to the planet they raise the vibration so remember one day people will be reading about dolphins thinking they did not exist think about that since then since these spirits reside on the earth they are compassionate listeners and helpers with material matters that's why we can hug trees and connect with trees and talk to trees or talk to plants because they have power and they respond in their own way 
They are happy to assist you with issues involving love and money, for example. The elementals can sense when a person sincerely desires to support nature's causes by engaging in recycling, kindness towards animals and the like. These actions engender the nature angels, their favour, and once this is gained, it will earn you many rewards. So in other words, when you treat nature with respect, nature will treat you with respect. You know, remember, there was an episode, I'm just trying to think what it was in, there was an episode, I think it may have been in Buffy or Angel or something like that, where, and there was something else I'm thinking of as well, you know, but where nature turned on the people that were dealing with the land, okay? I know there's definitely something in Buffy or Angel, but I'm going beyond that, it's something else. But there was an episode of, so it could have been, ah, oh, it was in Supernatural, Dean and Sam, it was in Supernatural. But there is something similar that I'm thinking about in Buffy and Angel. But it is in, and I'm going to use the Buffy cards tomorrow. If you're wondering when I'm bringing those in, because I did say I was using them yesterday. I'm going to bring them in tomorrow. I'm waiting for the 22 to port up um, to use them. I'm excited. But yeah, in, in Supernatural, there's an episode where nature starts turning against the people who are you know, like building homes on sacred land and they come to get rid of, of the people, you know, and, and Sam and Dean have to sort it out. But it's how when we are kind to nature, we're kind to insects, we're kind to animals, we're kind to the grass, we're kind to plants, we get respected. You know, so for example, you could walk into a field where there's many, many bees and if you, you know, they're not going to attack you because, or, or wasp, they're not going to attack you because they sense your sweetness and they sense your sweet nature. You know, that's why you can be around certain animals. Maybe you could go around a dog that was very hostile to others and the dog would come to you and lay its head on your lap. You see, it's all about what's going on inside because if you're operating in this beautiful, sweet energy, then you're going to attract that in. So this is why you can handle things that other people can't sometimes because of your sweet nature. So spend time with these angels today and give your relationship an opportunity to develop as you would with new humans over time, new acquaintances, and you'll grow to trust, help and love each other over time. As you become closely associated with the elementals, you'll begin to share their light-hearted and magical outlook towards life, which is a healthy approach indeed. Now, you know, this reminds me of when I went to um, an angel therapy event at The Light in Houston, where my event's going to be next year. And I saw a lady speak about unicorns. And I've spoke about this before because, you know, where I was at the time, I was just about believing in dragons and trusting in them because I had a dragon experience of my own and then you know you got this woman on the stage wearing a unicorn horn called Callista talking about unicorns and I could just couldn't get with the program you know I couldn't expand my mind enough to believe in unicorns because I'd always felt unicorns were these legends or you know these pink and white fluffy beans and or they're in a film, you know, bringing in innocence and purity. And in Legends, in the film Legend with Tom Cruise, you know, there's this, there's a unicorn story in that. And obviously in Harry Potter, there's unicorns in, in Harry Potter too. It's very powerful when you realise unicorns are actually real and they do help. And you know, it's very touching to connect with the innocence and the purity of unicorns. But at the time I was like, no, don't believe in unicorns and I listened to this woman, Callista, speak with an open mind. And at the end of her speech, you know, she did like 45 minute talk or half an hour or something. And at the end, she said, right, we're going to do a meditation now and connect with the unicorns. And I thought, well, you know, I'm just going to see what happens. And I felt a beautiful kind of, it was like um, a beautiful kind of brunette horse. Anyway, it kind of a horse this colour approach me and put his head down and look in my eyes and he was very powerful and she did like a little Q&A after and I put my hand up and I said do unicorns look like horses because he didn't have a horn he, he looked like a horse and she said yes because unicorns come to you however you connect with them so you believe 
And I was blown away. I was like, wow, I've just had a unicorn experience because I had a similar dragon experience with Diana Cooper when she was bringing in the dragons. And I was like, whoa, dragons, you know. And you may be in that position right now. You might think, well, Liz, I believe in angels, but dragons and unicorns are just too much for me. And I know how you feel because I've been there myself. But the thing is, the more you evolve on your journey as a spiritual being, the more you're aware and you expand your energy and you're open to all things and you realize wow because unicorns are really a symbol of innocence and purity and pure unconditional love and they come in to bring that to you and they help you to connect with your childlike being and you know when i connect with playfulness i connect with with dolphins and i really do feel that in the future dolphins will be extinct but they'll be seen as legends they won't be seen like a creature that existed. They'll be seen as legend. Were they actually real? Did they actually exist? Because they'll be in storybooks. They'll be in colouring books. They'll be in things like that because of their purity. You know, their purity of, of, of mind and heart and, and the way they are. Isn't that powerful? I'm really being guided to share that today, the power of dolphins. So enjoy dolphins while you can, okay? And, you know, it's beautiful when you see dolphins i mean george when we went to torquay last year george went on a jet ski and he saw dolphins and he was just blown away by it. Like, oh, you know gorgeous well when you see a film and you see the dolphins in the in the ocean you know me and george watched um that film not long ago it's a funny one with matthew mcconaughey and sarah jessica parker in it where he plays a guy called trip and she plays a woman who gets hired by his parents to make him move house and they end up falling in love and nature starts attacking him and he's in the he's in the ocean and a dolphin grabs him and pulls him underwater it's quite funny it's a really good film i can't think what it's called but it's really good so that's a funny film as well but dolphins when you see them out in their true habitat in the ocean very beautiful you know obviously i know it's a lot different if you see them captured or you know but the thing is as well, you know, if you swim with dolphins, you know, dolphins are just beautiful. And honestly, you know, when I connect with their energy, they are happy to, to serve. They are of service. You know, they are like us. They are light workers. And they want to serve. They want to help to raise vibration any way they can. And obviously, I'm not going to go into, you know, you know, them being out of captivity and, you know, it, all the, the things, you know because it's painful, it's like when we go to things like zoos, or we go to things like, um, you know, sea world, it can be very painful to connect with the energy there, but dolphins serve, and they want you to know that, so, you know, if they are swimming with dolphins, if someone's swimming with dolphins, you know, don't think badly about the person doing it, because the dolphins want to serve, and I'm not going to get into a debate about that, or this is what's coming through channel right now, okay, I have to share that, so, the dolphins are here to serve humanity, to help to raise the vibration of human consciousness. It's part of their mission, like the dragons did and the unicorns did. And look at what dragon, people talk about dragons in a bad way, like they're evil and demonic and nasty. When they're not, they're here to serve the powerful beings. And, you know, they help. And unicorns help the same way. So when I'm connecting within that message in the book there, get to know your elementals i feel this could be getting to know the dolphins getting to know dragons getting to know unicorns you know getting to know the the kind of legends that you may have not really thought about before because you connect with angels but maybe you never thought you connect with dragons or or fairies or you know unicorns and trust me i know because i've been there myself you know for me personally you know people talk about during virtue and her journey okay and obviously i've seen her live speaking and you know i've I certified with her and, and i can't remember who it was i've got my certificate up there if it was radley i got my card course there with them and you know i saw doreen in a lot of places i went to switzerland to see her as well so you know doreen virtue was really one of the first people who got me into angels and helped me to really understand the angels i've got a lot of time for her you know this book is her book, you know, I use all the cards, so I'm not going to stop using the cards, because she had a, a change in her perception, 
that's her choice and it's her journey and I respect that and she's still created some amazing things as she was transitioning loving words from Jesus the deck is gorgeous I've got that here um, morning with the Lord the book I've got that too you know and I'm still subscribed to her YouTube channel because I still keep an eye on what's going on even though some of the stuff she talks about is crazy you know she's she's going down her own path but I'll always subscribe to a YouTube channel because I respect her for what she's given to me and what she's given to the new age community and you know the angel community especially over the years she did a lot of good and she's still doing good in her own way so let her do her own thing you know it's not my place to judge her it's not your place to judge her or anyone let her do her own path and find her own way but the point I'm making is you know when I used to watch a lot of Doreen Virtue on YouTube when she was doing her weekly angel readings and everything she used to do and then when she started talking about becoming a fairyologist I stopped watching it because I just did not resonate with that I didn't resonate with connecting with fairies and you know I still don't to some extent I like the energy the fairies bring in the idea of fairies but I see I connect more with the fae you know than magical fairies if that makes sense because you know when I connect with the nature angels I connect with archangel Jophiel the beauty angel and I connect with archangel Ariel you know those angels those archangels and they have angels that assist you know and I connect with unicorns and dragons and other elementals but you know for me becoming a fairyologist was something I would never even consider and back then it was just like well that's it now I need to stop watching her and then things changed anyway and she went through a big awakening or an, an other awakening so that's just a little bit as well if because I've had people email me and say Liz I don't know if you're aware but you use Doreen Virtue's cards and you use a boot do you know that she's on this other you know pathway and of course I know you know I mean I stopped watching her whenever it was she started bringing in fairyology and then um I just got guided to um watch one of her videos and it was where she was originally talking about her Jesus experience when she awoke to you know a new path but, you know, and that was all because, you know, she met her husband, Michael, who I've actually seen too, because he was on stage at an event and he was doing the music for one of her events. So, you know, when she met Michael, a lot of her life changed and started going in a new direction. And that's her choice. You know, we always have a choice. So, you know, don't judge anyone. I just give her so much credit for all the good she did and her cards. And I'm so grateful that I've still got a card, you know. And a lot of the card decks I've got were the original ones you know like this was the original deck by Doreen and Radley you know Radley's updated everything now so this is just by Radley Valentine but this was originally by Doreen and Radley and what I noticed as well was and I want to share this because this is really powerful especially if you're into angels and you know angel therapy in itself because you know whenever I saw Doreen and Radley together I always saw them as as a, a duo in a way you know, obviously Doreen was stood alone on her own. But, you know, whenever Radley was around, Doreen was always there. So they were always a duo. And then when Doreen left the angel scene, she stepped back and allowed Radley to step into his own. And obviously Kyle Gray was coming in around then as well. Kyle and Radley kind of came onto the scene together at the same time. But the point I'm making is you didn't really see Radley Valentine until Doreen was out of the way. It was really strange. And like... The last angel summit I went to, because obviously with COVID and everything, stopped doing it. And I went to a lot of those angel summits and they were, you know, usually at the light in, in friend's house in Euston Station, you know, say Euston Station, across the road from Euston, where my event will be. That's why I wanted my event there. But I've also attended one in Bristol as well. That was really nice because the weather there was beautiful. And, you know, I remember it melted my shoes that weekend and I had a great time. But the last one I attended obviously Doreen wasn't there and Radley did and I've spoke about this before Radley did like a big chunk of the event and it was like he was seen for the first time honestly it was a magical experience and he had a stand innovation at the beginning and at the end he was just amazing he blew me away he made me cry with some of the things he was saying and doing it was a very magical thing so for me the way I view that is Doreen had to go so others could step in. Very powerful. So she made the way 
she transitioned to something completely else. So in a way, God moved her in a new direction so that other people could step in and share maybe what she isn't sharing. Isn't that powerful? She, she allowed the way in. And I'm so grateful that, you know, I'm going to be up there on that stage where she was, where I remember when I, back in 2012 or whenever I was there and I was looking up at that stage thinking, I can do that. I want to be there on that stage speaking, sharing my views and knowledge about angels and everything I want to share. And luckily, 10 years later, here we go, you know. So that's also amazing too. So I'm really grateful that my own events will be there too at that particular venue. That's why I want it there. And obviously, you know, there's a thousand spaces to go to that event. And, you know, there may not be that many people there, but I don't care. Why? Because I wanted it there. It had to be there or nowhere. You know, for, especially for this first event, that's what I wanted. So if you're going to be there too, that's amazing. We're going to bring in the power. So I'm really excited. If you want to know what I'm talking about, I'm live in London next year, 2024, on Saturday, May the 18th. And tickets are available to buy now. So if you want to get your ticket, all you need to do is hit the link in the description box below in this video. And it will take you to Eventbrite where you can buy the ticket. And you'll be there with me. It doesn't matter where in the world you are, it's available to you. I manifested it. I saw Doreen Virtue in Zurich, Switzerland. I went to see Charles Virtue in Ireland. You know, I actually became an angel therapy certified with him, Doreen's son. And that was a magical experience in itself, that was. You know, I remember we were all sitting around in a circle. There was lots of us. And one person had to read for Charles. And I just felt the angels grabbed me and chucked me in front of him because he was sitting on the floor. We were all around him in a circle and he was sitting on the floor. And I just felt this energy just push me out of my seat. And I sat across from him cross-legged and I did him a reading. And it was like I was taken back to the energy of Jesus times. And I saw him, you know, around Jesus. He was really powerful, really powerful. So amazing how things happen and how things pan out and take place. But let me know what you think about that. If you feel the same that Doreen left, so others could come in. And I really felt that like, you know, Radley stepped into his own when Doreen stepped out. And that book he created, is it the genie book? Hey, Radley Valentine's, the, the, he's got a book about a genie or something. It's the most powerful manifesting book I've ever read. I think it's called, it's a blue book. I can't remember what it's called. I've got, it's in the other room where I go and get it. But maybe I'll bring it in for tomorrow's reading and maybe read a little bit of it and show it to you. I think I'll do that. So have a great day. I'm sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.